If you have the iOS programming, the Big Nerd Ranch Guide, the second edition, you'll notice that it was written for Xcode, using Xcode 4.1. And if you're using Xcode 4.2, you might be a little bit frustrated because you can't even work the example in Chapter 1 just because things are laid out a little bit different in Xcode 4.2. So I'm just going to show you how to just get bootstrapped on the very first example in, in this book using Xcode 4.2. So what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and open up Xcode. And we're going to create a new project. So we're going to file new project. And we're going to choose an iOS application. And in the first example in the, in the book, it's going to ask you to choose a window-based application. But you can see in Xcode 4.2, there is no such template. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with just a bare, empty application template. So I'll go ahead and say next, and we're going to give the product name quiz following the example in the book. Uh, how about a company identifier? I don't know. Let's put in wcochran.edu, something like that. And I'm going to pick for my class prefix quiz. So it's going to use that prefix on naming newly created files. I'm going to choose iPhone because that's the first examples for an iPhone. We're not going to be using core data, so I'm going to uncheck that, and I'm going to uncheck unit testing. But we are going to be using automatic reference counting, which is also new. So I'm going to make sure that that is checked. That's going to make our life a lot easier for memory management. Let's go ahead and say next. I am not going to put this project under Git source control, so I'm going to leave that unchecked for now. So I'm going to say, go ahead and say create that. All right. So now we have our really bare application. So you'll notice over here, if, if you look under the files in your project navigator, you're going to see that we have the source code, both the header file and impl implementation file for our quiz app delegate. But that's pretty much all we really have in this so far. So what we need to do is we first want to start by creating a very simple nib file. And so let's create a nib file. So I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to, I'm going to choose New File. And I'm going to go down to, to the User Interface option under iOS. And you can see there's a variety of different sorts of nib file templates we could choose from. I'm going to choose Application for my nib file. So I'm going to say Next. And this is going to be a nib file for the iPhone. So I'll say Next. And, we'll, and I'm going to give it the name main window following the example in the textbook. So I'll say create. And you can see over here un under the project navigator, you're going to see this created a file called main window.xib. That's the actual nib file, for example. And you can see that the nib file editor is up and running. So one of the first things I'm going to do is now let's go back to our header file for the quiz app delegate. And what I'm going to I'm going to do is you're going to see under the interface for a quiz app delegate there is a property window, an instance variable window. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go here and add a little keyword in here so the interface builder sees it. I'm going to add ib outlet. So so that and then I'm going to go ahead and save. So now I'm going to go back to my nib file. Now if you'll notice under the under our nib file, you can see under files owner, if I go over and and look at the quick help inspector, you're going to see that that's the files owner. The application is going to be the one actually loading this nib file. So so files owner is of type UI application. But if I go to app delegate, you're going to notice it thinks app delegate is just an NS object. So I actually need to change the class of the app delegate. So what we can do is go over to our identity inspector, and I'm going to change the class to quiz, quiz app delegate. So you're going to be noticed now, now that I've done that, give that a sec. So now that I've done that, you're going to see that our app delegate now is of type quiz app delegate, which is correct. Now, if I go over to the connections inspector, 
you're going to see the, there's an outlet here named window, and the little circle to the right is not filled in yet. That's because it, it doesn't have the connection yet made with the window. This is, this is when we were in our header file, this little keyword, IB outlet, is under the nib file, is what allows us to actually see this outlet now. So I'm going to make a connection here. I'm going to go from here and I'm going to drag all the way over here to window. I'm going to go ahead and make that connection. So now that is set up. Okay, so that's that step. So what's the next thing we need to do? So, so now if I go to the summary of my application, what I under main interface now, I'm going to have, this is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose main window. So that's going to have, the main interface is now is going to be my main window nib file. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save there. And we're, now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my quiz app delegate, and I'm going to look at the, the implementation file, quiz app delegate.m, and I'm going to look under the method application colon did finish launching with options colon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to copy out the lines that actually create our window programmatically. I'm going to comment that line out and I'm going to comment out the line that sets the background color and all that. Since we're actually creating our window in the nib file, we're, we're going to do things that way instead of actually creating our window programmatically. So now when I do this, you should be set to go. So, matter of fact, if we go ahead and you can go ahead and run this right now, it's not going to be very interesting at this point. But if you if you go and run your application, so if, notice I've got things targeted for the iPhone 5 simulator. Notice it comes up. There's my application with just a bare window, not much going on. Um, you will notice under the debugger, there's something sort of interesting down here. It says applications are expected to have a root view controller at the end of the application launch. So this really simple example they start with start with doesn't even have a a root view controller. We're just there in this example they're just going to start adding controls right to the main window, which is not typically what you'd normally do, but that's sufficient for this first example. So anyway, from that point on you should be ready to go and work through the first example. Everything should be set up so that you can follow the first example. So hopefully that'll get you up to speed. If you got any questions about that, let me know.